They are not considered to be your first typical first responder, but 911 dispatchers are essential. We've told you about the growing need for more police officers in our communities, but there is also a need for dispatchers. Valley News Team's Ashley Bishop looked into why they're targeting college students and how much they're needed. Fargo Moorhead gets about 7,000 emergency calls a month. Because of the growing community, they're adding more positions. We call them the first first responders because they're actually on scene at an event before the responders actually arrive there. It's a job where multitasking and typing fast is a must. So the Red River Regional Dispatch Center has started to advertise to the tech savvy generation in a local college newspaper. College students, sometimes they get to college and they decide it's not for them. Um, sometimes they decide they can't afford it and we wanted to reach out to those people. There is no age limit to be a dispatcher, but a few requirements. Philippi says she started at age 20, the job revealing a lot more about her community than what she knew. We're all hearing about the big things, the robberies and things like that, but just the day-to-day -day things that are going on in the community, people don't necessarily have as easy of life. Philippi says just like the police and fire departments, dispatchers become a family with their coworkers because of the things they deal with on the job. They know that there are certain calls that you get that are going to have an emotional reaction no matter how long you've been here, no matter how much you've trained, no matter how old or young you are. In Fargo, Ashley Bishop, Valley News Live. Dispatchers, uh, a starting dispatcher's salary is just under $40,000 a year and the training is on the job. To learn more about where you can apply and the requirements, click on this story at valleynewslive.com.